Welcome back to State of the Nation. Still on the COVID-19 pandemic and this time with peculiar reference to homegrown solutions. We're now being joined by Yusuf Gambo, he's a data analyst and mathematician from Yusuf Metamasule University in Kano. He joins us from our Kano State Studios. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us on State of the Nation. You have conducted a survey in your department with a sample size of 250, we're told. Um, tell us more about that. You adopted, you know, verbal autopsy in that research. Let's talk about that a little. What you did, we understand, is you applied a mathematical formula in your research titled Transmission Scenarios for COVID-19 in Lagos and Kano States. It's a predictive one, we understand. But what parameters, if I may ask, did you deploy in your work? Uh, you know, recently we conducted a research running the power of data research in Kano State. I don't know whether you may have look at uh, a look at the uh, report. If you if you can just talk about the the formula, let's begin with the formula that you use in arriving at your at your your. Your conclusions. Let's take a look at that uh, formula. If the my producer can just put that up, the formula talks about how uh, the formula. Of course, it's a formula. It's a mathematical formula. Let's try to get that as quickly as possible if we can. But tell us about that formula that you adopted to come up to your come up to those conclusions which you came. That's the formula. Okay, you mean the mathematical model, actually? Yes, that's the model. Yeah. So if you look at the model, like I said, uh, if you look at the can you, can you go to the graph? I don't know. If you look at, if you look at the graph, we have um, some parameters. We have uh, the first parameter that you see there is S. And uh, that S is representing a susceptible human. Then you have E, standing for uh, exposed human. I will explain each one of them. And then you have A, standing for uh, uh, symptomatic. And then you have uh, Y, standing for symptomatic. And then lastly, you have R standing for recovered. So when you said when you said some, uh, some susceptible, you are thinking about individual in which. Uh, can you hear me? Go ahead, please. Don't stop. Just go ahead. Okay, okay. So when when you say susceptible human, you are thinking about individual who is at risk of getting an infection, while exposed human is uh, a, an individual who is already carrying the uh, infection but is yet to transmit it to other people. When you talk about uh, asymptomatic, there are those individuals in which they show no symptom even after getting the infection, while symptomatic people are those people that uh, show symptom after getting infection. So if you look at that graph, that, uh, if you look at that, uh, let me say, formula, it's just showing a schemat uh, schematic um, uh, idea of uh, how the, the model works. So like we said in the report, we don't have to show all the mathematical details because the report is basically meant for general uh, public. So when you try to bring all the mathematical details, then things are going to be you know, uh, somehow. So that is why we just stick to the, uh, the, the, the representation of the result and then uh, leave aside the mathematical uh, let, 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 let's just fast forward to uh, the graphical representation you also have in your work, one that has to do with analyzing the NCDC data for Lagos State and for Kano State, and you arrived at a peaking of those figures uh, sometimes in July, August. Tell us more about that. Okay, first of all, you know, whenever you make a good mathematical model, you first of all have to validate your data using a reliable sort of data. So what we did first, we look at the NCDC data for Lagos and Kano State. And if you look at from the graph, you will see a red asterisk, isn't it? So that red asterisk is showing the uh, Lagos data from, uh, that we obtained from NCDC. So if you look at from the graph, you can see that there is a very good match between our model as well as the data we obtained from NCDC. So the first graph for Lagos is showing the uh, scenario in which you have uh, maybe 20% um, uh, reduction in mobility, as well as the current mobility that we are in. Even though I know Lagos, they lifted the mobility, I don't know by how many percent, but I know that there's no any uh, mobility in, 
in, in, there is no any um, lockdown in Lagos. So in the graph, you can see there are, there, are, there are two colored lines, blue and yellow, isn't it? The blue is showing a situation in which uh, the state is in current lockdown, while the yellow is showing uh, a, a scenario in which the state is in 20% lockdown. What we mean by that is if maybe the government decide to lift the lockdown by 20%, it may be by allowing people to go to uh, maybe to just uh, markets, um, let, me, let me say shops near, nearby, and, and so on. So uh, based on the results that we obtain, you can see that the possible number of cases that may arise when the lockdown is lifted by just 20% uh, is around um, uh, 7,000 plus, as you can see, isn't it? So but that peak line, is talking about the total number of cases, including those people that show symptoms, those people that do not show symptoms, those people that recovered, and those people that uh, that died. So, uh, so, but the the actual maybe number of cases, number of cases, or let me say the number of active cases, number of people that show symptoms, uh, is the one that is having a dotted line. So, if you look at that one, the number of cases it may not be uh, as high as the other one. In fact, it's around. 300 and uh, let me say 200 and something plus. Let's look at the second, uh, uh, the next graph which you have, which also talk about the mobility uh, and active cases as well as uh, uh, the cumulative mobility for normals and the normal mobility active and the, the normal mobility cumulative as well. That's, that's the graph I'm talking about. Uh, you, for August, for August 2020, you are having a reading that almost uh, hits there about uh, 800,000. In Lagos State, for instance, the Commissioner for Health, Akia Bayomi, has predicted that by July, we'll have about 120,000 cases in Lagos. Is that consistent with what your, your study shows? Yeah, no, like I said in the beginning, it, it depends on the, uh, the, the, the current state uh, we are. Uh, you know, I know there is no any lockdown right now in Lagos, but I don't know um, uh, by how many, by, by how much the lockdown is lifted. So if at all the lockdown is lifted by maybe entirely, then according to our model, the number of possible cases is going to be a hundred and something thousand. So perhaps what the commissioner is talking about is maybe when the uh, lockdown is lifted by some certain percentage, not generally, which is also in line with uh, what we are saying. Because if you look at our, our own uh, model, when you lifted the lockdown by just 50 percent, you have around 102,000. Oh, what will be your recommendations now that uh, what we are faced with is an, a gradual easing of the lockdown uh, for Lagos and Ogun State as well as the FCT? Uh, what will be your recommendations looking forward? Because just today, the numbers have hit over 3,000. 200 cases, we understand, 3,500 cases, as a matter of fact, of uh, people that are infected with this virus. What will be your recommendation? Uh, we have uh, lost that uh, connectivity with uh, Yusuf Gamboi, data analyst. We most sincerely thank you, however, for sharing your thoughts with us and your a study that uh, came up with those findings that uh, postulate some of those figures to expect when the lockdown is totally eased off and if there is one that is gradual. Many thanks indeed for uh, talking to us from our Kano State, uh, Kano State studios. And that's how the show has been today. And uh, to you, many thanks indeed as well. I'm Gimba Umar and this is State of the Nation. Bye for now.